What's the deal, y'all? Now today, I want to let you know that you are a magician. You're a magician. And now people are starting to see that you are that magician that you are. See, people saw you whenever the last time they saw you and how you used to be. They saw you three, four, five years ago or whenever they saw you and you were your old self. You had those vices. You didn't think the same way. You weren't transformed yet. You weren't renewed yet. You were still asleep. And you have to understand that people only remember you how you used to be, how they saw you last, if that makes sense. So the last time they, if the last time they saw you was five years ago, the person you was is the person they have in their mind all the way up until the next time they see you. And if they never see you or talk to you again, that is just the vision they're gonna have of you. So next time you guys cross paths, they not knowing the work you have been putting in, not knowing the things you have been going through, the shadow work you have been doing, all the things you have been doing behind closed doors. When y'all cross paths again and you are talking the way you talk, you are walking the way you walk. You're glowing how you're glowing. They are going to be shook. They're going to be extremely confused. They won't be able to wrap their mind around what happened because not too many people make the transformations that you have made. They have never seen someone do the things you have done. Change how drastically you have changed. They have never seen someone start to look younger as the years go, get better as they get older, level up every single year. They haven't seen anything like it before. So they're gonna think and they're gonna realize and they now know that you are a magician. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And I wanna come here and drop this message because I talked to one of my old teammates from college uh, who I haven't talked to in about five or six years. I haven't seen or talked to him in a minute. And we FaceTime yesterday just to talk about some business and um, some other things. So I was explaining some things to him and by the way I was talking and I read something to him that I had came up with in my business idea. And the look on his face was pure confusion. He could not believe that it was me talking. He could not believe that it was me that came up with the thing that I read to him. He literally asked me like, bro, you, you wrote this? And I could tell that he didn't believe me. Like he was shook. The whole conversation, man, he was, you know what I mean? He could tell, or I could tell that he was very confused. You see what I'm saying? Because the last time I saw my mans, we were in Puerto Rico. This was about five or six years ago. And we were at a bar drinking at four or five o'clock in the morning. He last remembered who I used to be when I had my gambling problem, my drinking problem, my partying problem. So now when he hear me talk about business ideas, when he hear me talk with the intelligence and confidence I talk with now, I was teaching him things, putting him on things. And he is, you know what I mean, in that field. So he was confused because who he remembered me to be, I am no longer that person. So understand and be prepared if it hasn't already started to happen. Whenever you come across some of your old friends, some of the people that you, you know what I mean, used to be around, some of your old acquaintances, your old coworkers, people you went to school with, be prepared for them to look at you confused to not be able to wrap their head around why you are or how you became the person that you are because they didn't see it. No one sees the work you're doing. No one sees the shadow work. No one sees the internal work. No one sees the staying up late, working on your goals, working on your dreams, waking up early, going to the gym, the sacrifices, the discipline you have to put in. And like I said, not too many people do it. 
So when you pop up, when you appear as the person you are right now, the person you are becoming, they're going to know that you're a magician. You see what I'm saying? And it's funny, man, because I've always been um, infatuated when I was younger. And even until this day, man, I love watching magicians like card tricks and people disappearing and all that stuff, man. Always wanted to do it. But now I'm able to do it in real life. I was able to, you were able to change your mind, renew your mind, and be transformed. It's like you disappeared. You went off the scene. You went into isolation. And you popped back up as the superhuman that you are. This motivated, ready for whatever. This confidence you have now, this belief in yourself, is something that they never seen. They're going to wonder how you do it. They're going to wonder what you did. They're going to want to know the sauce. But a magician never reveals his secrets or his tricks. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But the crazy part is, even if you told them what you did, how you changed the way you did, how you leveled up, how you became this new and improved version of yourself. If you showed them and told them that you had to go into isolation, you had to sit alone and go against those demons. You had to do the shadow work, the internal work. You had to get off of social media, stop talking to so many people, stop taking in so much content. You have to break habits. You have to reprogram your mind. That's not something that is for the faint of heart, the weak. It's not for everybody. So once they see and if they can understand what you really have to do to level up how you did, to get to the place that you are, the place that you're going, they wouldn't want it. They would not want any parts because it's not easy. It's not for everybody. That's why you were chosen to be that somebody. To change the narrative of the people around you and your environment. To change the world. Because you could do it. You were willing to do whatever you had to do to become the best version of yourself. You weren't okay with being just a number, being a regular civilian. Put in the comments, I am not a regular pedestrian because the work you put in, the work you all put in, you have risen, you have helped create the new world. You, all of the chosen ones, you have done more than you will ever know. See what I'm saying? So I appreciate you if you made it to the end of the video. Drop a like, man. Leave a comment. Leave some inspiration for me. Some inspiration for anybody that's watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on the post notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. I appreciate y'all, man. And I'm out.